don't really have to do anything other than surrender. Choose to trust that he is able. And he is able, isn't he? We want to do really what, what Mary did. In the midst of all the hustle and bustle of Jesus and his disciples coming to visit Mary and Martha, when he did arrive, Mary just sat in the living room with him. Martha was still upset because she was still really busy doing stuff. And I don't think there's anybody in this conference that could say, I'm not a busy person. There's probably nobody in the conference that doesn't have a to-do list that's waiting for them at home. But in spite of all the stuff that needed to be done still as Jesus arrived at their home, Mary stayed and just sat at the feet of Jesus. Eventually, when Martha got so exasperated with her sister, she uh, endeavored to appeal to Jesus. And he said to, uh, she said to Jesus, tell her to help me. She's just sitting there at your feet. She's not doing anything at all. She's doing nothing constructive. She's producing nothing. She's not helping the job at hand. And ultimately, Jesus' response changed everything for you and me. Martha, Martha, you're worried about so many things. But Mary has chosen the best part. And it won't be taken away from her. And I've always marveled at those words of Jesus, the best part. Jesus, what do you mean, best part? Mary's decision to sit at your feet, are you saying it was better than getting that meal ready or getting the house cleaned? Are you saying that Mary's decision to sit at your feet and just listen to you, really do nothing, was, was better than maybe evangelism? Maybe, maybe better than missions? Maybe better than kingdom work? And ultimately, I think I've, I've come to the conclusion that the very thing that first won you and me to Him, specifically the fact that He loved us, is the very thing at the end of the day that He's going to be asking you and me. Do you still love me? And I think that's what Mary was endeavoring to do. She just wanted to be with the one that she loved. And Jesus, by speaking into her heart and into her spirit, was pouring in that very thing that she needed. And, and often we just don't take time to do this. We, we think it's a waste of time. We, we think that just being quiet and producing nothing and just sitting at the feet of Jesus, we, we could be doing kingdom stuff. And we understand there is a time to do kingdom stuff. There is a time to be a Martha. And it's very important that we do that. But unless we're also a Mary and know deep within our hearts the love of the Father, and the very things that he wants to speak into us and call to us, the strength that he pours into us, we actually will not be able to do the Martha stuff, the kingdom stuff. So this afternoon, I want you to find a place that's just really comfortable for you. Uh, you notice that some people have decided that the floor is the best place, and, and I'm, I'm on their page very much. I think just finding a place to lie down in church, no less, is... Uh, Maybe a good thing to do. It's a safe place here. Maybe back home at your place it would be a little awkward, but it's quite normal, actually, here. You are welcome to stay in your seats. You're welcome to get up and leave, come and go, visit a washroom, get a drink, whatever you need to do. Um, those of you that have come in, we want to encourage you as you soak. If the Lord begins to speak to you, I want to encourage you to sit up, grab a piece of paper, and write it down. Just record whatever it is that he speaks to you. Um, there are a couple of reasons for this. It's very easy to forget what he says an hour from now or longer. The other thing is that often our minds are so busy with stuff. Um, I'm thinking, you know, I, I got to get the oil changed in the car. Uh, I got to get milk. Uh, uh, there's a whole list of things that I have to do. And if I just write it down, then I can let it go. And now. I can rest. So Holy Spirit, we want to invite you to come this afternoon. And we want to say, come and have your way. This, this afternoon is for you to do whatever you want to do. For you to speak whatever it is you want to speak in. Lord, if you want to come and bring healing and set captives free. If you want to bring that, that deliverance that some have been waiting for. Lord, we just want to give you space to come and do what you want to do. Father, I ask that in the midst of the song, 
that you'd release your angels, your ministering spirits. Lord, would you come and have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you may feel the hand of an angel <laughs> this afternoon on a shoulder or whatever, but you may also feel the hand of a real person because we will have a ministry team sort of wandering around and for the most part, they'll just be saying, Lord, I bless what you're doing right now. So indeed, Lord, come and have your way. Amen.
come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live. Here am I. 
like to say yes to you But you know me, you know my weaknesses Unless you come, Lord, there's nothing there Nothing at all Nothing for you Nothing for them Nothing for me Unless you come And fill
service send me out source of love of faith and power come oh come and fill me now fill me now fill me now spirit come
watch over you wherever you go. I will not leave you until I've done all that I have promised you. For not one word has failed of all the good promises that I've given.
shield and rampart if you make the most high your dwelling even the Lord who's my refuge then no harm will befall you no disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways I love you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will not forget you. Thus says the Lord. I will not forget you. I've 
treat us as our sins deserve, but as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him.
for your son a bride without spot and without wrinkle let the breath of life pour in O oh God deep calls to deep and the roar of your waterfalls all your waves and breakers have swept over me with me, a prayer to the God of my life. 
is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garments, she is led to the king. They're led in with joy and gladness. They enter the palace of the king.
For whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit.
is just before five. Supper is almost upon us. You are welcome just to stay and soak for as long as you like. And if the Lord is speaking to you, please do stay just a few more minutes. Over you, I rejoice over you. 